Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of all of my Halloween decorations all set up for this year. If you guys watched my video last year, it's kind of similar, but everything's a little bit different in the main room, which is where we are right now. But I also added some things to Ryan and Raylan's room, and I'm going to be showing you guys that in this video, as well as where everything is from. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start out by doing a little overview of the room. Peep, the camera strap. Starting over here, we have the table. I love this table so much, it's from our generation. In the back, you can see we have these cute little skull cups that I believe are from the dollar store. Some mini pumpkins that I think are from Michael's. And then the orange plate is from our generation. And these little cookies are just some pieces of foam and I put some puffy paint on them and drew a little cobweb. And then here I have a little clear glass filled with all the DIY cake pops that I made last year and that video will be linked in the i button if you guys want to learn how to make those. They're very cute. And of course I have that succulent that is always on the table and that is from a local store. However, Target has very similar things like this. Moving on, at the bottom right there you can see the little battery pack for these adorable little pumpkin lights. I got these last year and I have them stringed across the mirror and I'll show you guys at the end what the lights look like when they're turned on. By the foot of the couch, I have these two decorations. Well, everything here is a decoration. I have this pumpkin flower thingamabob and I got that at the dollar store last year and this fluffy jack-o'-lantern with some green details and I have no idea where that's from. On the couch, we have some festive pillows and these are just made up out of some felt hot glue and stuffing. I have two jack-o'-lantern ones. You can see the first one on the couch and you can kind of see the other one reflected in the mirror. And then we have two of the little jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treating buckets and those are from the Target dollar spot last year. And they're filled with some little Halloween candy boxes such as resealed Smarties and Nerds as well as some homemade candy. The one over here has a nice little pumpkin in it and you can see another spider on the table and a skeleton shot glass. Moving down by the fireplace, we have another bucket filled with some candy. You just see a big black string winding above the mantle. However, those are really cute purple fairy lights from the dollar store. I have a little picture frame that I made out of some cardboard last year. It's supposed to be a cobweb with a spider. It really just looks like a cobweb with some black dots. And I completely forgot I made this last year when I was taking out the decorations. Last but not least, in this little frame, I switched out the normal photo to a photo of a nice autumn tree that was more for fall and not just Halloween. And here is an overview of the room with the lights turned on. Now we are on the other side of the dollhouse, the closet portion, where we have a Julie with no pants or shoes on on the bed, a fully clothed Allie, and a shoeless Juniper. This room definitely has way less holiday spirit than the other one, so I'm just gonna be quickly showing you guys the few Halloween things I have in this room. And I have one or two things in the bathroom as well. And if you guys want a in-depth room tour of this room or the bathroom, those will be linked in the i button. So starting off here, I have my little trick-or-treat coffin. And I think that's from the dollar store. We have another tiny pumpkin similar to the one that I had by the couch in the other room and a glittery spider. I have a little pumpkin here, and if you see the Starbucks cup in the background, I have another one right there. And then I have another bucket, this one has nothing in it, and a little spider on top of those books. Finally, on the bathroom sink, we have a skull cup with a spider inside of it, and a spider in the bin of towels. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys enjoyed it, please give a big thumbs up. Comment down below, have you guys decorated for Halloween yet or do you plan to? And of course, subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a new video. Have an amazing day and bye. The dead doll lays in our coffin with a beautiful floral shirt and no pants on. Happy Halloween. There's a fire, but no fire brigade.